morning YouTube today is the day it's the day of the DGS YouTube golf day <sighs> bit of stress yesterday all self-inflicted had the tea times wrong been telling people all the tea times <laughs> had them wrong quickly panic thank goodness for Simon Moore he raised it to my attention and I was in dire straits quick panic oh my god get a video out tea times half an hour earlier tea times half an hour earlier Hopefully everybody knows. Hopefully everybody will be there on time. Anyway, if you like this professionalism, consider subscribing to the channel and uh, give it a thumbs up because this is the sort of stuff you get. Uh, today's the day. Hopefully it'll be all right. Got to get down there. Got to sort the price table. Got to sort uh, nearest pins and all that sort of stuff. So uh, hopefully I've got a couple of trusty assistants helping me to get down there and find out what's going on. So I'm here, and the greens have been very lightly top dressed. It's hard to see. You can't. This is a relatively bad spot. A bit frustrating, but there we go. Well, what a lovely first couple of hours that's been. I've organised nothing. Um, I've moaned about a few things, but generally. I've met a lot of lovely people and uh, it's coming up to my tea time. I haven't hit any balls, but that's life, isn't it? That is life. I'm enjoying it. Mr. Darren Sturman. Good morning, everyone. If you don't know him, you will find him on the Big Oggy Golf Channel. Yes, unfortunately. I'm sure you do <laughs> know him. And uh, there's a, a little series of vlogs on that channel at Dainton Park, and that's probably the best vlogs they've ever done, I reckon. Best golf you've played, I've heard. Yes. <laughs> and you, I've got to find me golf clubs. Like you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them all, everyone's out. I managed to get one away, shaking as well. Rip straight over the top of those trees. Absolute perler. There's even people lurking over there. Classic DGS boys there, look. What a treat. Have a good one, guys. Through the first, John made a birdie on the first, like a absolute boss. Uh, nice cheeky four points to the team. Thank you very much. He's off 14. And uh, he made a good first hole. Nine points for the team there. I'm, I had two points and Derek got up and down at a bunker for par. Lovely stuff, good start. Let's hope that continues. The course is actually looking in good condition. The greens are rolling absolutely fine, even though they have got a bit of sand on, but they are rolling really nice. So not too worried about that now, which is good. Nerves have been settled. Um, yeah, let's hope that, I mean the weather, oh, the weather. Yes, please. That's what you can ask for. Weather and good company. Oh, lovely. <laughs> what are you waiting for, Stuart? What are you waiting for? Here he comes. We're miles down here. We are just out of reach of him, hopefully. I mean, if he hits me, it's a hell of a shot. Here it comes, straight down the middle. Where is it? In the water, it's gone in the water. Oh, lovely. It's just like Big Oggy's day, isn't it, mate? <laughs> 
team is going well. John's playing extremely well. Everyone else is chipping in with points here. We are on the uh, sixth hole now. There's only one hole that we haven't made, made up our points. All the others we definitely have. This is the nearest thin hole and it's looking lovely. Let's move over a bit. You carry on, Dale. Don't you wait for me. I'll catch you up. Don't you worry. Pin is at 125 yards, just behind Derek. Water in front, water down the left. Strike, it's at the right edge. <laughs> he's happy and he's dancing. No one else hits the green, that's nearest the pin. Just long and left, just long and left. I was really happy with the strike there. This is the one to watch though. He's playing off 14 and striking the ball really well. John Flanagan. James is on the green nicely. Guys, oh, a hard one. It's outright. I don't know if it's coming back in there. Nope. Mm, looks like James might have nearest the pin. He might be putting his name down on the flag. Depends who's close between him and Dell. Okay. It's got to be James. Of course, it's playing nice, so it's in good condition. Even the greens are rolling really well, and they are being receptive too. If you throw the ball in high enough, the ball definitely stops. So the course is all good. Panic over. Uh, hopefully everyone's enjoying it. The old Cart Smith group behind us. She gonna wave? She ain't waving. She ain't waving. Why would she? Hopefully I can find my ball and get up and down, but I've definitely not done the best thing. I'm playing okay. I think I'm on my handicap. I think I'm one better than my handicap actually at the moment. Because I've not made a one pointer yet. This is a little tough stretch for me now. Six, seven, eight. I get no shots through. Actually I get a shot on this half. The seven and eight, I don't know shots. Um, so I need to par those to keep it going. But John, like I say, John Flanagan's playing very well in our group. James is just one behind his handicap, but he pars this, he goes back to level on his handicap. And Dell's doing all right as well. A couple of blobs early on, but the ship has been firmly settled. Team game though, we are doing very well. Seem to be getting three scores in on each hole. So yeah, happy days. Pray for me. Well, the last time you heard from me, we were playing that par three and I went long and left and I actually managed to get up and down for a par. So, still doing all right. Just hold a good putt on the seventh as well for a uh, par. Bad back pars, you say? Yeah, so I'm actually two shots better than my handicap at the moment. This is the nearest the pin. This is a hard one to film because it's downhill. You can see the top of the flag stick though. Um, so you might see a ball flight. Who knows? Let's hope so. We've actually played 11 holes now. I was going to update you after nine, but totally forgot. Uh, the after nine, we were on. We've had to change a thing. Two players haven't turned up in the later groups, which is a shame. Um, so there are only three balls. So it'd be harsh to still play three best scores. So I've dropped it down to two best scores now on each hole. 
Um, and after nine holes, we were on 45, so we were nine better than our handicap at that point, five, averaging five points a hole, which is very, very good. Obviously, your handicap would be four points per hole. Uh, so I'd like to think we're in contention and we're still doing okay on the back. John, behind me here, who's played Crane more than me this year, is actually having a blinding round. Just finished the 11th hole. And I think he's on 27 points. <laughs> That's really good golf. He's striking the ball very well. He's scrambling, he's holding some big putts. Got up and down at the right times. Doing very well. I thought I was doing okay. I am, uh, I was 20 points at the turn, which I was, whoa, how you going? Which I was very happy about. Uh, and then I made one point, two points. So I'm 23 points after 11, so still better than my handicap. So got to be happy with that. Um, yeah, putting up the middle on 12. Hopefully we're doing all right, but yeah, we're sort of in the old bandit territory. Boo hisses when he comes in with 50 points. We'll see, see what happens. This is a nice par three here. Tough though, 200 odd yards to the flag. This is the 13th. James actually gets two shots on this hole. Stroke index um, eight. So it's a tough one. Uh, still going all right. I'm gonna just save a par on the last with a good two par. I'm still a better than my handicap, so happy days. Into the camera. <laughs> Dale's got a perler in there. He sort of rolled it up through. You might have seen it, you know. Hopefully, you did. He enjoyed it. Oh, yeah, all right then. Always good to clear the bunker. Oh, he struck it well, he sped up a bit though, and he's he's over there. Boink, there it is. Might have just stopped short of the long grass. Uh, just, just in. Just in. He's got some aim, eyes on him, James, I tell you. He knows where balls go. No, it's quite something. There's no way he ever misreads post. <laughs> he is a postman, FYI. Other postal companies are available. <laughs> Here's the lead man playing really well. Brought the last. Just track that well. High draw just at the bunker. Is it enough? There it is, just over to the right hand side. Absolutely fine. Chip it apart from over there. Not bad. Hopefully all in play. Hopefully all in play. Too good. Don't forget your marker. Del, come on, mate. Yeah, weldy there, isn't he? Is he you? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my shot, but getting beaten like by Derek there, that's a, it's a weldy from him, isn't it? And the two are just over on the right-hand side. Might as well film. Holy moly, that's... Yeah, I can see it. He had to, he had to rip that. So it's John coming on. He's very focused, this John. He's superstitious as well. He always wants to go last. I did say, how would you get on if you were playing match play and you won a hole? And then you're leading off, aren't you? But he's playing very well. See a little bit short game magic. It's a little bit short. That's what it is. James is out. Nice 
Another three pointer for me, three for three. Try right, getting there. What do you make, James? Uh, five for two. Well done. First four. Four for two? Yeah. Well done. Um, steady the ship. Two points. Very fussy, likes to only par holes. This is for Derek's two. <laughs> we just. Oh, I'd love Derek to make a two right now. Come on, come on. Yeah! Shame there's no two spot, but great two. Two, two for four. Fantastic. Another seven point hole for our team. Ooh. Two best scores, yes please. Just uh, scrambled a point on that one. Three off the team, eight of six, four one. Now we are approaching the 16th, where Mr. Bradley Cox is waiting for us. He's so excited. How long have you been waiting? And how many shots have you had at the green? Six. Oh, okay, how many times did you hit it? I haven't missed it. Oh. But I just jinxed that, so now we're Yeah, game on. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming down today. Welcome. Brad's come from Golf Catcher, mm -hmm. hence the uh, Golf Catcher emblem on yeah. the left pectoral. Oh, okay. And the bag. I can't move it because everything will blow away. Oh, yes, <laughs> I see. Yeah, God, blimey. Come with all sorts of goodies. So, yeah. thank you very much. They are. Um, Thanks for having us. Oh, thank you for coming. <laughs> they are sponsoring the nearest pins today and Brad is doing a Beat the Pro. Um, all money raised for the Beat the Pro is going to be going towards buying a kiddies golf set at Golf Catcher yeah. so they can uh, promote the kids playing golf. Yeah, Simple as that, isn't it? Yeah, get the academy going. Yeah, beautiful. Um, so yeah, it's five is in, isn't it? Five is in. Five yeah. is in. Do you do IOUs if people haven't got cash with them here, but in the car? No, uh, it wasn't in sound conditions. No, no. I don't know. I actually don't know. I guess no, so. I suppose if you could keep a note of it somehow, like maybe yeah. write it in a docs and a phone. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Then Are you going to come back to the clubhouse? You're staying yeah. for dinner, aren't you? Yeah. Maybe. I'll we'll pay for everyone to pay <laughs> Maybe. Just make a note. I mean, I'll put Flipping dinner in. Flipping the postman yeah. has been I'll taking everyone's I'll birthday I'll money. Yeah, I'll put it in. Yeah, I'll put it in. I've got cash in envelopes, what they expect? I'll pick the shots, I'll just take name and put it in my phone, put yeah. it in the notes and then yeah. we'll sort it out in the cover. Yeah, yeah. Perfect, yeah. And obviously if they don't pay, then, and if they beat well, you, I'm then... I'm going to pay for everyone to pay here. Oh, look at that. Good old Dell. Yeah, yeah well, I'm, I've got a fiver. I've got a fiver. I'm lost. Not once. <laughs> There's interest. Yeah. So who, who wants to pay? I've got a fiver, so I'm all right, Dell. You're, you're yeah. fine. Put, can you put... Um, if you like that, I haven't got, I haven't got a float, so if you give then... You're I'm flipping it. Well, he's paying for, how many people I'm are you paying for? I'm, I'm putting 10 in. I'm, I'm you put 20, you've, put okay, 10 I'll give you a... I'm putting 10 in. I'm just putting 10 in. What, are you having two goes, are you? No, I just... <laughs> oh, right, that's what I'm doing. Help the kids, yeah. Perfect. I'm down with that. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Jesus Christ. I was joking I said twice as much. Yeah, I owe you 20 now, do I? Yes. Right. Yeah, I wasn't joking. Let's figure out what club we're going to hit. What club are you hitting, Brad? Because I'm probably the same, or maybe one less. I think if you're off the yellows, right? No, whites. We're off whites? Yeah. Oh, He's been so practicing off the yellows. Game on! <laughs> 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 They're making the rules up as they go. Come on, Brad. <laughs> Not from me, I shank it. Actually, so definitely <laughs> shot that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Derek, just sneaking off the back left. Yeah. Just down there. I am pin eye right, I'd say. About 10 foot, I reckon. I'll take it. Oh, James can relax. He's well chuffed that Derek paid for him. Yeah. <laughs> you ain't getting your money back. It's, uh, and obviously if we beat you on this Beat the Pro, we win a lesson, right? You can win a lesson or you can win £10 back and take money away from the kids. <laughs> And get fifty percent off of a lesson. So. Yeah, I heard anyone playing in the day today gets fifty percent off a lesson. That is correct. That's yeah. very kind of you guys. Is that with you? It is with me. Yeah. We'll see how worthy that is in a minute, won't we? Yeah, I'm between clubs now. It's throwing me that.
gone after it. Yeah, that's, that's turning back. That is turning, really nice. I'll tell you what. Oh, you've got yeah, that's a golf shot. Yeah, that's very good jump. Jeez, some of them are losing money. <laughs> Not even his money. <laughs> <laughs> you can pay him back and then you get a little commission as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> should. Great shot, that. I'm genuinely into the club. And you're feeling a bit nervous, aren't you? I can tell. Um, you cleared your throat, I heard it. <laughs> that wasn't his throat. Hay fever was a bit bad. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of lessons, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I got, I'm not on tour at the minute because of COVID, so I've got a lot of time, haven't I? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> He's junk bit. That's going to roll, though, isn't it? That's going to get there. Oh my. oh my, hasn't even hit a green, so that's two lessons. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! Where do you have the lessons? At golf catcher. Oh, no. At <laughs> golf yeah. catcher. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone would say I've done that on purpose, so I haven't got to give the lessons. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 it's all for good cause. So, warm up, yeah. first time off that tee, isn't it? First time off that tee, so. swing about an hour, yeah. Tough, tough going, mate.
No, he's had a curry. Hey? Is he going to play it? Yeah, he should do. It's just here. Okay. Oh, is that you? Just a little wedge yeah. shot. Yeah. It landed in our curry. Yeah, playing from where it lies. Oh, oh, no. I'm too embarrassed. I've lost the art. Play it from down there. <laughs> Is that nine now? Yeah, I know he's done. Is that nine? He's now going to order his second curry. Yeah, I want crumble, look. Yeah. I think so, anyway. We'll find out. I'll go with that. Come on. No rush, mate. This guy's a pro, isn't he? Not going He holds these all the time. Can I get changed? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, he, and then he bumped it off. Oh, good part. Good part. It was nine. Aim point, get your lessons from this guy. <laughs>
it is recording, I'm afraid. Stories in the clubhouse about Simon Moore's game. Right. <laughs> okay. Hello, everybody. Thank you all so much for coming down today. A lot of you have come from very far. Oggy from the end of land, wasn't it? All the way down the bottom. West, mate, I come from. Unbelievable. Stu coming. Where have you come from, Stu? All the way down from Hereford? Like, yeah, up there. Yeah. Yeah. Wells. Amazing. Derek's like from Brighton. Like, it's amazing, loads of you have all travelled real far, so thank you so much. Touch you all wanted to come, it's very kind. Um, what should I start with? I suppose I should start with nearest the pins. Um, huge thank you to Golf Catch, obviously they provided Brad with the Beat the Pro, and um, they've also provided vouchers for the nearest the pins to use at Golf Coucher, which is a free bay session and free club MOT, which is where they check your lofts and lies and all that sort of stuff. And Fade Golf also donated some caps as well. There's some good prizes for the nearest of pins. And the first nearest of pin on the sixth hole is Mr. James Y. <laughs> Don't laugh. Very good, mate. Very good. Here you go. Thank and you cap, very much. And cap, and cap. Well done, Thank mate. Thank you very much. Very good. It was a good shot, that. Got it on camera as well. Uh, next, nearest of pin on the eighth. He's already left, so he doesn't get it. Dean Meller. You can clap him, but you don't have to. It's up to you. <laughs> I will make sure he gets it, though, because I do know him. Uh, nearest pin in two on the 18th hole was Mr. Ryan Tricky. You get one of them. You don't get a cap, though. You get a football voucher to play. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Nice. You'll get a formal voucher to play here as well. Perfect. But I'll give that to you in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and the other nearest pin on the 13th, and it was so funny. Derek hit such a good shot in there when we played it. Literally turned round, next shot. Shah just smokes one in. So well done, Shah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Hey, you don't wear caps, do you? But you don't wear caps, do you? We don't have to my sink's leaking, brother. It's not. Uh, that's the nearest pin's done, isn't it? Um, right, I'm going to go on to the individuals and then we'll do. Oh no, beat the pros. Beat the pro. Beat the pro. Four people beat Brad. Uh, me. I, I beat him. Uh, who are the other two? Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> John Flanagan also beat him. Well done, John. Matthew Emerson, also beaten, well done. And Lee Irvine, but amazingly, Lee took the money. He's like, I don't want a lesson, I'm having the money back. So, fair play to him. Um, a huge thank you to Lee. Uh, he is the reason we have all these amazing prizes here. He sponsored the day, uh, massive appreciation. So, big clap. Thank you, mate. Right, so. Individual scores, I'm not going to go through all 40 people. <laughs> yes, well, uh, there, is a, there is a prize for last place. Neil, you kindly donated a... Oh, a <laughs> <laughs> you weren't last. No, you weren't last. Neil kindly donated a voucher, which is here somewhere. Yeah, here it is. Um, for uh, a 60 minute track man golf lesson at Salisbury Golf Centre and in last place with a whopping 14 points was Ollie Lowe. <laughs> so top three individuals. Um, there were two on 39 points and on countback in third place with 39 points, Matthew Emerson. Well done, mate. Very good. If it's not your size, you can change it downstairs. Well done, Thank mate. You, mate. Well played. Uh, and rather embarrassingly, 
also in 39 points and just pipping him um, was me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> right, take the shoes. Thank you. <laughs> and the winner today, and I had the pleasure with playing with him uh, and an excellent 41 points was John Flanagan. Well Not that you need this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, team game. Team game. In last place, the uh, tattoo golf coach who coaches over at Parley uh, donated four 30 minute sessions um, with him, and you obviously all need it. But uh, in last place, is with 71 points, was Ollie Ball's team. So well done, John. That's a long drive. <laughs> 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 well I suggest you give him to our captain because he's bloody rubbish, mate. Yeah, fair one. That's down fair so one. badly in all of <laughs> Right, in uh, third place, team with 85 points, Ryan Tricky. I mean, they can all come up yeah, if they want to all come up, you know, there's, or you can just give them all. To there them you go, much, glove each and towel each. Well done, boys. <laughs> no, you can stop them downstairs if you want. <laughs> <laughs> Worth about five quid. <laughs> uh, where's my, there it is. Second place with 87 points is the badminton team. Well done, boys. Well done, boys. Well done. And the winning team today with an absolute whopping score, so much so that I double checked it and the guy downstairs double checked it because when I saw other scores coming in, I thought it doesn't seem right. With 101 points. My team. <laughs> <laughs> so well done, boys. Come on up. Back of the t-shirt each. Show the sales. Well done. Absolute pleasure. Thank you very much, Wayne. Pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Take your pick. I'll take a what You can take a one. Take a one. Yeah, that's, that's, I don't know who's supposed to have that. Someone else. Oh, Dean wants just out of interest, mate, when you want the shoes, were they your size already? They're actually not. <laughs> they're literally like, they're tiny, honestly. Look. So you're fine. Um, there was, <laughs> embarrassingly, there was another prize. So another guy, Julian Hughes, another subscriber, donated a prize uh, for the winning captain. I thought, oh, that'd be great. Yeah, like, let the winning captain have uh, uh -oh. a prize as a thank you for like helping, helping me today with all your teams then. That was me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> and it's an amazing prize. It's like three hours golf coaching up in uh, Suffolk and uh, around uh, Stoke by Nailing Golf Club and lunch. And I was like, wow, oh, that's an amazing prize. Yeah, that one. I want to vlog it though, Greg. I want it. It's embarrassing. I'll vlog it. Yeah, I'll vlog it. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much. Um, amazing day. Amazing to meet a lot of you. Uh, it's just been, just been really good. Thank you very much. I'll definitely Thanks do another much, one. Um, thank you all for coming. Thanks Appreciate you guys. Just got home. What a day. What a day. Uh, I know I said it in my speech, but my speech felt a little bit rushed. Um, I knew people had long journeys home. By the way, do you like my new worktops? Ooh. Pizza's in the oven. Booyah. Cat's chilling out. Loving life. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you again. I didn't actually thank Crane Valley. Like the course, even though they'd handed the greens, the greens are rolling pretty well. Only really affected a few just sort of little chip shots. And to be honest, once you got the hang of it, it was absolutely fine. I obviously did get the hang of it the way I played. So I'm obviously going to say it's good. But they were rolling really well. Uh, I'm not that. The course was set up well. Some of the pins were a bit tricky. Shame we couldn't go right off the backs. 
would have probably been a bit, bit of a different test, but I think, uh, I think everyone that came enjoyed it. I hope you did. Yeah, so a huge thank you to Craven Valley. Massive thank you to Nick in the pro shop at the end there, who uh, was sorting out all the scorecards. Took loads of pressure off me having to do that. I was able to go and talk to all of you guys, which was really nice. Get to know some of your faces and just have a chat with some of you guys. It's really good. You guys comment on my videos. Uh, it's been great to just sort of have a little natter. Um, just wanted to reiterate, re reiterate a couple of little sort of thank yous. A uh, big thank you to Golf Catcher again. I can't remember if I mentioned it. Um, well, I certainly said it when we were doing Beat the Pro, but not over the speech. And that is that <coughs> any of my subscribers are getting 50% off at the moment using the code Wayne2020. And uh, anyone that played in that golf day is also getting 50% off lessons with Brad using the same code Wayne2020. Uh, no, I don't think it is, but they've got a list of the people that have played. So they get 50% off lessons with Brad. Obviously I beat Brad and beat a pro, so um, I get to have a free lesson, and there was a couple of other guys that done the same, which was great. Big thanks to Brad, obviously, for coming out and doing that. Uh, hopefully we get to see a bit more of him on the channel. Little lady's here, she's missed me. See, look how much she's missed me. You off to, Baba? She's having a drink, having a little drink. Um, so that's the yeah, amazing of golf catchers to do that. Another big shout out to Neil Williams, PGA. Uh, thank you for coming. Jumped in pretty late notice to the place of Beach Fraser, which is fantastic. He got well in his group and uh, obviously donating the prize to the lowest score individual. And another big thank you to the tattooed golf coach. Go check him out. He's at Parley Golf Centre. He donated four lessons to the guys, the losing team. Uh, and again, none of it could have been possible without you guys coming. None of it could have been possible. And certainly that prize table wouldn't look so good uh, without Lee Irvine. So a huge, huge thank you again to him uh, for sponsoring the day. I'm coughing up the money to do so. And basically, basically just bought me presents. That's how it worked. So thank you very much because I like presents. Um, so yeah, cheers Lee, amazing. Uh, so many nice guys out there today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And it's gonna be something that I'll do more often. Uh, perhaps when I get hit another milestone of subscribers, I'll start organizing another one. What should we say? Mm. I'll have a think about it. It'll come up in another vlog, no doubt. But again, thank you all for coming. Thank you to those that traveled a long way, because some people you know, Big Oggy's going to be driving <laughs> flipping ages. Fair play to him coming up. What a guy. Stuart Smith coming down from Hereford. Just so many people come. I can't believe, I'm a bit overwhelmed at how many people drove so far to come and play Little Old Crane Valley and uh, meet me and my friends. It's amazing. Thank you again to all my captains. Amazing to have you there. You will be rewarded. I'm going to treat you one day with some free golf somewhere, I'm sure. And uh, hopefully I'll get that sorted for you. But thanks guys, thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel and you've liked this and you think one day I'd like to be involved in that, subscribe, think about it, give it a thumbs up. It'd be good. Um, I think that's all the thank yous. Just have a quick read. Yeah, that's all the thank yous. Much love guys, and I will um, see you in the next one.